Hey guys, it's Bren. I'm back from Ohio and we have a lot to talk about because I have a winter holiday Bath & Body Works candle haul. Even though it's like 90 degrees outside, we're talking about Christmas candles today. So yes, I did it again. I drove all the way to Ohio. It's like a 13 hour round trip. And I feel like I just did it because I don't know that I've ever done both fall and winter in the same year before, but I did it this year and uh, there were enough that warranted the trip. You know, if there's only a couple, I'll just pay the exorbitant prices on Mercury figuring, well, someone else went to the trouble to actually get that, you know, and uh, if I'm going to spend more on gas money than I would paying fees on Mercari or eBay, then I'll just get them there. But there were a lot this year. There were a lot I wanted to try out and I actually have seven, eight, nine that I have here to talk to you about. Um, different ones. I bought duplicates of many. One is a repeat. Uh, so there's eight new ones to talk about. And uh, I, I gotta say, I do love going into this store now. I'm always afraid that someone's gonna recognize me from YouTube or something when I just look like crap. You know, like I got up at 4.30 and I've been in the car for six and a half hours and I'm gonna get recognized. But it's funny, you walk in and I must just look like a weary traveler because they're like, where are you coming from today? You know, but they get a lot of people that do travel in pretty far for these candles. And there was a guy uh, shopping next to me. He just had this list and he's like, uh, she wants this one this, and they're all new ones. And I'm like, let me guess. You live here, but you're sending these to someone who does it. And he was like, yeah. <laughs> so it's fun. Uh, it's a good time. And I spent so much money. I mean, a couple hundred dollars on candles, which I think it's pretty hilarious that I can be out of state spending 200 something dollars at Bath & Body Works. And I don't get a fraud alert on my credit card. Chase is like, nope, that's definitely her. But then I spent like $125 on a hotel and at least 75 on gas and then went out to eat and drink. And oh my God, I'm like feeling really broke right now. But let's get into it because like I said, we've got a lot to talk about. I love it when, I must be in a chatty mood today because I'm just gonna digress this whole time. But I love it when reviewers are like, Let's get right into it after they've been talking for like 10 minutes and you're like, this is not getting right into it. Okay, I'm gonna shut up. I'm not gonna be one of those people. Let's start. So there's uh, four collections that I have candles to show you from uh, today. There's also a fifth collection, which I didn't get any candles from because it was all returning scents. It's like Frozen Lake and Winter and Fresh Balsam and all that. It's a small collection, so we won't really talk about that one. Um, but I will say if you are interested in seeing um, all of the candles that are in all of these collections. There's several different uh, Instagram accounts where you can do that. I like Sense Galore. I'm gonna shout her out because she does collages of each collection so you can kind of visually just see them all. That's a good place to check. And of course, Bath & Body Works Daily Finds always has tons of information. So those are a couple you can check out if you wanna know like what's coming back. I'll mention as we go through the collections a little bit of like what's returning in each. And we'll also talk about what I think is repackaged and all of the new ones, even if I didn't purchase them, but I purchased most of what is new. So I'm all about the new here. I don't wanna to talk too much about returning scents and we don't need to talk about tis the season, right? I mean, we know what that smells like, uh, but there's a lot of new, so I'm excited. Now, of course, this is only the first wave of holiday for Bath & Body Works. These candles will start to trickle out, but then there's gonna be so much more still to come. So at the end of the video, I'm also going to make some predictions um, and speculations on what is not, we're not seeing in this batch that might still come back, what I hope comes back. Like, we'll talk about that too. But anyway, I'm going to start with this collection here. It looks very familiar, right? Very similar to last year's Camp Winter collection, which actually they redid this package uh, for a camp themed collection in summer too. And I remember last year, a lot of us saying that this was like the only cute collection where everybody liked the labels. So they've just decided to like run with it. They're not reinventing the wheel this year. It doesn't seem like, right? Um, but there are lots of returning scents in this collection. I'm gonna start with it and I'm gonna probably start with my post burn reviews of this collection first because I feel like this will be the first collection that will come out. Uh, last year, Camp Winter, was the first collection that came out. And also I wanna say it was Bath & Body Works Daily Finds maybe where I saw this, but someone posted a picture of like a Canadian throwback coupon that had pictures of this collection. So this will likely be the collection that we see first. And there's plenty of returning scents in this collection. Um, Maple Cinnamon Pancakes is back, which is a repackage of um, 
caramel pumpkin latte, which I think is the same as that caramel cold brew candle that came out. Okay, so that's back. And the spice apple toddy hot cocoa cream. They're going to do that one to death. Evergreen is coming back. Marshmallow Fireside. Sparkling Woods is coming back. Flannel. There is one in this collection called Campsite Coffee, which I was a little excited about. It sounded like it might be new. They're saying it has orange essential oils in it, but don't trust that because it's just Paris Cafe. So Paris Cafe is a really nice coffee scent. I like it a lot, but this uh, Campsite Coffee is nothing new. It's a repackage of that back again. So that's all that is. And then um, there was one new candle in this collection that I checked out but didn't actually get. I know a lot of people were curious about it, Blue Winter Sky. So Blue Winter Sky seemed to me like a cologne scent, but it was in the forefront was eucalyptus. And that's those are kind of the notes. It's um, It's got a lot of eucalyptus in it. So it's a very cooling eucalyptus feel with a men's cologne. If you're into that kind of thing, check that one out. But that's definitely not my kind of thing. And I didn't think I could do, do a good job of reviewing that one. So I passed on that one. But I did get two from this collection. So the first one I've got here, uh, Toasted Vanilla Chai. So I was hoping, I was hoping that this was going to be the same as Iced Almond Chai from 2014 Spring Market Collection, because this was really great. I have just like, a lit, like basically this candle is burned up, but I have kept this <laughs> just for this reason so that I could compare it someday to other candles. Um, they're not the same from what I can tell. It's hard. I have to kind of imagine what this once smelled like before it was all like burned up, but you can still kind of, kind of, it, it sparks my memory enough for me to remember that. Um, but this one, it's definitely, I mean, it says ginger, nutmeg, cinnamon, clove, all the typical stuff. It is deep. I don't know what I mean by that even, but it's like a rich scent. It smells very, um, like it's not overly sweet, like it's a, it's on the darker side. There's sweetness there for sure, but I, I would expect it to maybe be sweeter, and I think that's maybe the biggest difference between these two is iced almond chai for me smells lighter and sweeter from what I can remember of that one. I love this one, but this one's pretty good too, uh, but they're different. And a lot of people have been asking me to compare this to White Pumpkin, which is out in stores now. And I'm gonna have to go back to the store and smell White Pumpkin again before I give you my post-burn review on this one. By the way, post-burn reviews on all of these. Um, I don't know if I already said that, but as always. Uh, so that I can give you kind of a better comparison because I don't have that one fresh in my brain, but I don't, I don't think that they're the same. Though I know they're not the same. I don't think they're even that similar. I'm really, there is like definitely a lot of chai in this. Another one that you could compare it to would be uh, the vanilla, was it just called Vanilla Chai from the Artisan Collection in fall of 2013, I wanna say? Um, it was like an early fall release. It came out in like August of that year. Um, that one was more similar to that iced almond chai and that they were like sweeter and this is like a little darker and not as sweet. But there's a lot of spice there and it feels to me like this is going to be a pretty strong candle. So anyway, that's all I'll say about this one for now. Stay tuned for post burn thoughts and I'll go smell white pumpkin again before I give you my uh, final review on that one. The other new one that I picked up from this collection is Apple Garland. This one, not in my area of expertise, not the type of scent I would normally burn, but it's new and it smells good to me. I like it. Um, this is supposed to have eucalyptus, cedarwood, apples, and mistletoe. I don't honestly really get eucalyptus, maybe a little bit, or even necessarily cedarwood, but you definitely get pine and apple, and I feel like this reminds me a lot of Mary Mistletoe which was a candle that my mom loved, but instead of like having a little bit of citrus in it, but it's the same kind of pine as like Mary Mistletoe, but then you get apple. And the apple is not a remarkable apple. It's uh, just, you know, a pretty basic apple, very similar to just kind of like their farm stand apple kind of apple note, but um, it's not as heavy as the pine at balance. I don't like farm sand apple. I think it smells like poison, but it's just a little bit here. It's okay. I actually think this is one that's going to be really nice, and it smells very Christmassy, very like holiday in a jar. 
So I'll do my best to give you my review on that one when the time comes. Okay, what collection should we do next? I know what we're gonna do next. We're gonna talk about this super cute collection here. Uh, I do like these labels. Um, it's They all have like a sweater pattern with like a shape on them, like this, you know. And then um, this these lids that also kind of look like holiday sweater snowflakes, I guess you could say. They have like a cross stitch, like, yeah, I don't know. Uh, so anyway, the one returning candle that I did pick up was another Blueberry Sugar. I knew this would come back. I knew it. Um, I shouldn't say I knew it. I felt like it should come back. So when I saw that it was coming back, I was like, good, Bath & Body Works, good decision. Because this sold really well last year. Uh, it was a very coveted candle and it's great. I mean, if you didn't check it out last year or even if you did, you should check it out again this year. It's this nice creamy blueberry cream saver type of scent. It definitely smells like blueberry as opposed to any other type of berry. And as I said, when I reviewed it last year, it's Basically the same candle as that blueberry twist candle in the layers with the pop tails collection. I think um, that candle, but that candle didn't throw at all. It threw like a one. It smelled so good. You can smell it when it was burning. And blueberry sugar basically corrected that candle. And it's a strong version of that. And I love it. And I had to just pick up one from this year because it's so cute. So that was the one returning scent that I got. Um, also, another one coming back from last year that also should be back is White Mint Latte. Another good decision on their part. I think that one also is really great. And it's going to uh, sell well again this year. I didn't pick up another one because I still have some from last year and I have a lot of mint candles from them. You know, I have mint chocolate, which is similar. I have peppermint marshmallow and I don't burn mint candles that much, but mint latte is good and I might end up picking one up just in this, this year's cute packaging. I won't be reviewing Blueberry Sugar again, uh, but you can check out my review from last year. It is the same. Some other returning scents in this collection. Let's see, we've got uh, Salted Caramel, bleh, uh, and then Spiced Gingerbread, which by the way, since we're talking about that, Spiced Gingerbread, uh, I posted this on Instagram. It's the same as last year and every year. And it's, an, it's a good candle. If you like gingerbread, it's really strong, um, but it is a different candle than the Gingerbread Swirl candle, which is out, and we'll talk about that when we get to that collection, but those are different. Um, but we also have a couple new ones in this collection, which I'm very excited about. Um, I already showed you guys Frosted Cake Pop. So Frosted Cake Pop, Smells pretty good. It's supposed to have buttercream icing, vanilla, and cherry. And so when I first smelled this candle in the store, the first thing that popped into my mind was that it smells like the uh, the frosted cupcake candle or the buttercream icing candle, which are very similar. Um, it, it, like that, but with a little cherry. However, and that's what I posted on Instagram. However, the more I smell it, I have, now I wanna amend that statement. It is still similar to that, but actually what I think it is, is it is the marshmallowy vanilla note from Vanilla Pumpkin Marshmallow with cherry, but like obviously no pumpkin. Um, and it also smells very similar to the marshmallow that's in Peppermint Marshmallow, which I think smells similar to Vanilla Pumpkin Marshmallow. I'm betting that the marshmallow note in Vanilla Pumpkin Marshmallow, in Peppermint Marshmallow, and in this candle, that note is in all three of these because this is basically Vanilla Pumpkin Marshmallow, but you take out any pumpkin and you put in a little bit of cherry. That's what I'm getting on Cold Sniff. It's really nice. Cherry candles are touch and go with me. Some I like. Some I don't, we'll talk more about that in a little bit here because I got another cherry candle to talk to you about. Um, but here, it, I think it's nice, it's a very sweet, kind of like maraschino cherry note. And it's not super strong. I get that marshmallow vanilla first, but it's there, so we'll see. I hope it comes through when it's burning. Um, but there's that one. Now, this right now is my favorite, you guys. It's my favorite. <sighs> orange chocolate truffle. I love this smell. It's so good. It smells so good. It smells exactly like Fannie Mae chocolate covered orange candies. 
and I haven't had those like probably since I was a kid, but I don't even know if they still have them. Does Fannie Mae still exist? I don't even know. But uh, they had these candies and it was this orange gummy, but it wasn't like a sweet orange gummy, like a gummy bear. It was like a tart, citrusy, kind of tangy orange covered in dark chocolate. And the combo was amazing and this smells exactly like that, exactly. If you know what that smells like, then that's what this smells like. Um, and it says that it's just orange zesty salt, dark chocolate. It is a dark chocolate. It's not the same chocolate note that's in like hot cocoa cream or anything like that. Maybe if I were gonna compare it to something, it's similar to the chocolate that was in mint chocolate a couple of years ago, but I don't even know. But it's definitely like a dark chocolate. And then that orange is not too sweet. It's tangy and zesty. It's, I could just smell this all day. I, the whole next day in Ohio and I had these in my trunk, I just kept like popping the trunk and pulling this one out and smelling it. No joke. It's like crack. Mm, I love it. Um, I really hope that it smells like this burning. If it smells like it does on cold when it's burning, I will be in love. I will buy 10 of these. Um, so we'll see. We'll see. So anyway, those are my thoughts on that collection. Moving on to the next collection. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll talk about this one because I just was talking about cherry. So, okay. <laughs> when I'm in the store, sometimes I have a very hard time making decisions. You know, I know I'm spending a lot of money and I'm trying not to spend too much, but sometimes I think, oh, what if, you know, something doesn't pass test and I wish I would have bought more or, you know, should I buy this just to review it? Like for my viewers, even though I wouldn't normally buy it for myself. And anyway, I was on the fence about gingerbread swirl and this one. And in the end, I was like, well, let me just pick one. And I picked this one, uh, Cherry Frost. It's definitely really cute. Um, there's some hollow going on in the label too. I don't know if you can see that. Cute scene. Um, and the candle says orange and juniper essential oils, notes of white cherry and ginger. But I just get cherry flat out this is like a cherry candy candle oh yes i mean it is it's just cherry candy it's a cherry lifesaver that's what it smells like straight up maybe a little sweeter than that even not really tart you know and i so with cherry scents <laughs> i like black cherry merlot this is not that uh, and i love sweet cherry pie that was kind of like black cherry merlot with bakery uh but i do not like and have not in the past like cherry blossom sangria bought it didn't like it returned it cherry limesicle bought it didn't like it returned it uh, i passed on cherry um snow cone that came out this summer because i was just like i just don't think i'm gonna like it because those scents just kind of smell a little too like cough syrupy to me and i just don't like them burning even though i like them on cold um i'm worried this is gonna be the same situation but i thought let me take one for the team and buy this and try it just to review maybe i'll like it that's happened before where i've bought one thinking i wasn't gonna like it and then i actually do but i think it's very similar to like cherry blossom sangria and cherry lime sickle in that it's in that vein i smelled it right next to cherry snow cone did a side by side they're definitely very different cherry snow cone has that effervescence like that fizzy feel to it this doesn't have that it's just flat and there's this candle is very simple i mean it is just cherry <laughs> that's it I mean there's not much more to say it smells strong I don't know guys stay tuned for the post burn review and then the other candle that I picked up from this collection here is arctic berry my mom picked one of these up for her too she thought she would like it and uh, this is balsam and orange essential oils with notes of frozen red berry and musk and it's also very cute um, Smells good. Smells pretty much just like 
the Arctic Berry Soap from last year. So this soap last year was a very big seller for them. I know because I fell in love with it and I kept going to stores and they were sold out, sold out, sold out. This soap was like impossible to find last year. I only ended up being able to get two and I saved one and I'm glad I did because they smell very much the same. So obviously they had a, a hit soap on their hands and they decided, let's make it a candle. And they are very, very, very similar. So if you liked the soap, yeah, I mean, I'll go more into the nuances of the differences in my post burn review, but like they are the same scent. It's not like sweet cinnamon pumpkin where the body care and the candle are completely different. Or my mom was saying like crisp morning air, the soap and the candle smell totally different to her. I think these are supposed to be the same with the same name, like they should be. Uh, so they're very similar. Now the notes are different though, and that's what's funny. Cause you know, Bath Body Works and their random notes. Um, this says it's snow kissed berries, iced pomegranate and cedar wood. So different than what the candle says. Very similar though. And this smells like it could be light is my only thing. You get the pine and you get like a sour berry note. It's nice. It's good. It's kind of light. So stay tuned. We'll see how that goes. Um, also in that collection, I think is just returning scents, but you've got your peppermint marshmallow back. And I know people are excited about that champagne toast, cinnamon caramel swirl, um, sweater weather is in this collection. So yeah. Uh, all right. Last collection. This one right here. All right, let's talk about this. So again, like I think Champagne Toast is back in this collection and this is the collection where you're gonna see uh, Twisted Peppermint, the Vanilla Bean Noel, Winter Candy Apple, all those were here, Tis the Season, um, Sparkling Ice uh, Sickles is in this one as well. And I think the one, or no, okay, so I already talked a little bit about Spice Gingerbread Swirl. Frosted Coconut Snowball is in this collection and that has been a body care scent and now, it's a candle, um, so I guess it sold well in body care. They put it in a candle, right? They're doing that this year. Um, but when I smelled the candle, honestly, it smelled a lot like coconut water. Might be a repackage of coconut water. Didn't have one there that I could compare side by side, but it was like very similar to that and also very similar to Honolulu Sun. All of those right in the same vein, so passed on that because... I don't like Honolulu Sun and I coconut water like I was trying to like it this year because I liked it in 2012 but I just can't so the frosted coconut snowball candle in my opinion it's right there with those but then yeah gingerbread swirl that's what it's called right spiced gingerbread swirl would expect that that's the same as spiced gingerbread definitely not like I said spiced gingerbread is the same old spiced gingerbread from before this spiced gingerbread swirl barely had any smell to it. it. I just, I kept rubbing my fingers on it, trying to release the oil. It was like a, like a, a little bit of a gingerbread spice, but like it mostly just kind of smelled a little bit like fresh, um, but not like much. So I passed on that one. Um, it just, it didn't seem to have much scent. I don't know. Uh, yeah, but did get two from this collection. So popcorn and pine, <laughs> interesting, right? Uh, says fresh popcorn kernels, warm butter and white pine. Okay, Bath and Body Works. Uh, I had the same reaction as my friend and as my mom. We all were like, ugh. And then we smelled it. We're like, well, actually, it's kind of okay. Cause it just sounds weird. But for some reason, it kind of works. <laughs> it's a weird combination, but yeah. Now, I am not a big popcorn person, but it's more because I don't like how it gets stuck in your teeth and I always end up with like a kernel shoved between like my gum and my tooth and it's painful for me to eat popcorn. But I don't mind the smell of it. I never would have thought I would like a candle that smelled like that though. And this does, I mean, it's pretty accurate. It smells like buttered popcorn. It smells like buttered popcorn jelly bellies, which are disgusting. But, you know, they're, they're pretty authentic. It smells like that, it's very buttery, but then you get the pine too, but you get the buttered popcorn first. And that pine is just kind of there in the background. It's enough, you smell it, but I don't know. It, 
is eating popcorn at the holidays a thing? Like, maybe, I guess, because I know some people make, like, garland out of popcorn, right? I don't know. <laughs> I think I like it, but I'm totally not sure. I'm very interested to burn this one uh, and see how it does and see what I think of it, because I just don't know what I'm going to think of it. But on Cold Sniff, yes, it smells like what it says, so... We'll see about that one. I did, I will say, I have not watched anyone else's reviews. I know they're out there. Sean is just cranking them out. He got these candles early, and I've seen some other people with him too. I haven't watched anything because I wanted to give you my just like fresh, unbiased opinion, and I have no idea if I'm agreeing or disagreeing with other people. No clue. But I do know I saw on Instagram that Sean really likes this candle because I think he made it a Best Fragrance nominee. Um, so I don't know. I hope I like it too, but I don't know yet. Haven't decided. Okay, last one. Uh, this is Sugared Snickerdoodle. Also new for this year. Spices, vanilla, musk. That's essentially the note list. All right, it's good. I think people are really gonna like this one, but it is definitely 100% pumpkin pecan waffles as a base, and then it's tweaked. It's not the same as pumpkin pecan waffles, but it shares the same base. It's like they took pumpkin pecan waffles and they added a lot of cinnamon and sugar to it. And it's really nice. It, it is, but it's, it's, it's pumpkin pecan waffles at the start. Uh, it works though. It works. I'm not a huge fan of pumpkin pecan waffles just because it's too strong and when I burn it, it's just like too much. I kind of like the way that it smells on cold. This doesn't seem maybe quite as like in your face strong, crazy, like make your whole house, like your curtains and everything smell for days. Maybe it's not going to be as intense as pumpkin pecan waffles. I don't know. But it's it's got cinnamon and then sugar just on top, just like a snickerdoodle cookie. I think it really smells like a snickerdoodle. It's and it's very good and it's very holiday like, but I'm getting cinnamon sugar with pumpkin pecan waffles. That's what I'm getting. I think it'll probably be pretty strong. All right, so I'll have to review that one and let you know what I think too. Anyway, so that's it. That's enough. That's enough. I spent enough. Uh, but like I said before, that is just the beginning for Bath & Body Works. They always come out with more stuff. I mean, they have new collections coming out all the way through like mid-December. Usually we get some kind of like New Year's collection. So there's still plenty more. We did not see a lot. There are no White Barn Core holiday candles testing right now. And I'm sure that they will come out with some in the, just the plain glass, the White Barn Core collection. I'm sure we'll have some of that. Um, you know, so... Some candles, like I, I knew white mint latte and blueberry sugar. I, I at least, I shouldn't say I knew. I felt they should come back. They did come back. I was like, good. Um, but another candle that sold crazy well last year was that eggnog candle. I still have some. That was really good. It would definitely not be a mistake if they brought that back. People loved that one and it was hard to find and people were tracking it down. But can we talk about Mary Cookie for a minute too? Last year, Mary Cookie was impossible to find. I wanted one. I couldn't find one anywhere. It was like flying off the shelves. It was released really late in the same collection as the eggnog with the stupid Santa quotes on it. Please bring Mary Cookie back again this year, Bath & Body Works, in like a regular collection where it's accessible and we can actually buy it and find it. I, of course, would love to see um, like Peach Meringue come back, but I'm not holding my breath for that. Tuscan Lemon Tart. People talk about that candle all the time. They haven't brought it back. Cinnamon Frosting. We haven't seen that one in a while, but I wouldn't count on any of those. I will say we'll probably see black tie, even though that one's, I don't think that one's testing yet. Um, vanilla snowflake is nowhere to be seen yet, but I bet it will be. They always have that one. Um, and I, last thing I want to say is, you know, Bath and Body Works, if you're listening, I doubt they're watching this, but I don't know. They know who I am. If they decide to bring back another whole collection like they did with the Sweet Shop collection last year, I have a suggestion. Bring back this spring market collection from 2014. This is the next collection that I would like to see as a whole come back. I would love more iced almond chai, tequila lime cupcake. I loved that one. I don't know if it was a big seller for them, but I loved it. And then strawberry rhubarb freaking marmalade. People love that candle. That is a cult favorite. 
sells for a lot of money on the secondhand market. That would be great. That was in this collection and Cherry Blossom Sangria, even though I didn't like it. I know some other people would be happy to see that one back. So that would be a great collection to bring back. And you guys know if there was ever one candle that they could bring back, I would wish it to be prickly pear and sugar cane, but I don't think it will ever happen. But there's a lot of good new stuff here, so I'm going to get to burning, and stay tuned, subscribe for post-burn reviews, because I will come back with each of these new candles and tell you what I think after I have burned them. Thanks so much for watching. You can follow me on Instagram, at Candles and Music. I'll see you next time. Bye.